he was doing the right thing. Forgive him, Father, for his sin. Once upon a time, there were three very different little girls. The tramp you live with slept with my husband and, and got herself pregnant. Jeez, I'm so glad you're there. 21. Stupid cards. Nobody moves. Hands behind your head. Who grew up? It's, uh, it's business. Come on, I want you to tell me that you don't love me. Because I love you. They have three things in common. They're brilliant. They're beautiful. I'm going to be all over you. Get it. And they work for me. My name is... Sorry. Three very different little girls. Are you hiding something, Monica? It's called praying, Sonny. Even a mob boss can't control that. No, I wouldn't even try. But you mentioned something about someone in pain who needs forgiveness. What, what are you talking about? I don't know. Pick a, pick a name. How about Jason? You turned my son into a killer. He's going to need a lot of God's mercy for that. She's lying. Monica was talking about me. Sam. He tried. It was Dr. Thomas. Uh, nothing. I was just checking to see if there'd been any change. I'm sorry to say there hasn't been. Wait, what, what's wrong with him? Hold on, you were in here with Dr. Thomas? Yeah, yeah, for a second. Jason. What is wrong Jason? With you? Oh, please be all right. After the drunk driving accident that put Jason in a coma, AJ was out of his mind with guilt. There was a real possibility that Jason wasn't going to regain consciousness that he'd have to be put on life support, that he was going to be trapped in his own body. And A.J. couldn't bear it. So he tried to convince somebody at General Hospital to end Jason's life. This actually happened? Yes. Jason almost died. The flow of oxygen was cut off from his brain. You tell me he did this, Alan? No. I'm the one who actually saved his life. But I didn't know anything about this until much later. How did you find that? A.J. wrote a letter. It was a full confession. He actually wanted to go to the police, but I wouldn't let him. Okay. Did A.J. name the person who injected Jason's IV? No. It wasn't in the letter. I have no idea. I do. Then tell me who tried to kill my son, Sonny. Oh, your son? Excuse me, Alan. How many times have you told me that Jason was dead in your eyes? Well, you can't take it back now. Jason is lost to you, and you have only yourself to blame. Why didn't you call me and tell me something was wrong? What was Dr. Thomas doing when you came in? I don't know. I don't know. He was checking on Jason. Nothing that I saw. What's okay, you have to keep him away from Jason, please. Okay, Carly. Why? What possible reason would Dr. Thomas have to hurt Jason? Okay, if you never believe a word that I ever say in my entire life, I am begging you just to believe this and keep him away from Jason, please. Okay, this whole mystery scenario is getting old. Jason is my best friend. It's always been that way, long before you got here. I know, here. I know, I know. You really don't know what's going on right now, okay? And then you're really trying to keep it that way. Why are you trying to squeeze me out? Oh, gosh, 
Carly, I really... I, I don't me? have time for this petty crap right now, please. I'm asking you. You're not gonna do this to me, Sam. Carly, so you Carly. What are you doing? Ten years. You tried to force Jason back into a life he didn't remember. You were so determined to get back that son you lost that you just refused to acknowledge the man that he became. I refused to accept the choice that he made. The choices Al that he made, Alan, were because he was brain damaged. And it was AJ that caused that damage. If it wasn't in that car accident, it was the murderer he hired to kill Jason. AJ tried to save Jason's life. You read AJ's confession 10 years ago. You've known this all along. What was I supposed to do, turn him over to the police? He should have been accountable. He should have been made to take responsibility for once in his life, Alan. If he had, maybe Michael wouldn't have been kidnapped, maybe you wouldn't have been shot, and he might be alive. You have cost me both my sons, and for that, I cannot forgive you. Carly, she, she, she's not the enemy here. There's a lot you don't know about. Okay. Well, I'm here now, so tell me. We don't have time, Carly. Oh, okay, so you're cutting me out now, I'm not too. cutting you out. It's just that I can't fill you in on everything because Jason's life is in danger. And I'm not in the inner circle anymore, right? No, no. It doesn't matter how much I love Jason. You're closing ranks. Okay. Carly, okay, so that's not yeah. what I'm saying. She all right? Yeah. Yeah, he seems to be. So, Sonny, actually, you know what? Thank God Carly showed up when she did, because she probably saved Jason's life. Listen. <sighs> A.G. hired somebody in this hospital to kill Jason after the accident. What? Alan Quartermain told me the whole thing. He's known all along. Oh, Dr. Thomas. Had to be. That's the connection. The memory Jason was trying to grab onto. All right, let's take the next logical step here. AJ was making noise about, uh, you know, pleading insanity for the kidnapping case for Michael, right? So he probably went to Dr. Thomas to help him make the case. Dr. Thomas refuses. AJ threatens to tell about the, the, the botch attempt to kill Jason, and Dr. Thomas had to stop him. And all he has to do is stop Jason from remembering. I know we tried to kill you, Jason. I'm on it, and the bastard will not get another chance. Hey, I brought Max up to speed. Just tell me what you need. I want you to watch him. Do not let anyone in. You got it? Sonny's orders, all right? Yeah, Sonny was talking about people who mean Jason harm. I don't mean him any harm. I mean, let me just go in and see him. Come on, come on. Just make it quick, all right? Chase. What happened to you? No one will tell me anything. They're all trying to lock me up. Sam and Reese. And they're using my marriage to Lorenzo to do it. It's not fair. Please come back. Oh, God. There's no one around, you son of a bitch. If you didn't uh, mention this to Sunny Art. Don't worry. Just take care of Jason. Oh. All right, listen to me. 
I don't have time for this right now. I gotta stop Dr. Thomas before he gets to Jason. He's the one who killed David. Yeah. Well, your girlfriend already tried to sign this theory. That's all it is, a theory. There is no evidence Dr. Thomas had no motive. Okay, here's your motive. All right. Did you hired Dr. Thomas 10 years ago to kill Jason? By putting something in his IV, it almost worked. Jason flatlined, but Alan Quartermain revived him. How do you know? Because this? Alan Quartermain told me himself he's been sitting on the letter that AJ wrote, admitting everything. When Michael's kidnapping blew up in AJ's face, he tried to blackmail Dr. Thomas by getting him to help him into an insanity defense, but Dr. Thomas obviously refused, so AJ was gonna... Okay, look, you wanna, you wanna arrest me? Go ahead and arrest me. Inter interrogate me, whatever you need to do, Durant, but you better get your guys down here to stop Thomas because he's the real killer. I think I'm looking at my killer. If you allow Dr. Thomas to kill again, just because of your stupid vendetta against Sonny Durant, I will make it my life's mission to destroy you. You and your female posse certainly get points for knowing how to tell an interesting story, but I'm still not buying it. You want to talk to Alan Quarterman yourself? Go ahead. But you better get your men to search the hospital. Oh, Tom's going to the chapel. Okay. If you want, no, no, go ahead. You want to stop me? Shoot me in the back, Durant. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Get up. You know Dr. Thomas? Yes. Has he been in here? No. Don't lie to me. I'm not lying. Get out of here. What's funny? Dr. Thomas. We gotta find Jason. Why are you in Jason's room? We're going with you. Nobody's going anywhere. Dr. Thomas makes a nice diversion. The Sonny killed Rachel in here. We have to get to Jason's room. Dr. Thomas is after him. I will. I have every right to stop you in your tracks. Only if you stop me first. Get out of my way. Go. You okay? You're not going to shoot your own daughter's Just around. Just go, Sonny. Hubby number two, wondering where you are. Not your business. I'm wasting time here. Are you going to back off, Sonny? I could swear you're still married to the man. What part of he's my children's father do you not understand? Carly, you are interfering with a police investigation. And you are after the wrong guy. Dr. Thomas is the killer, not Sonny. And what part of I'm just trying to help you do you not understand? If you really want to help, you will believe what I am telling you. Dr. Thomas killed AJ and allowed your grandson to take the blame, and then he killed Rachel Adair to cover his tracks. All right. All right, what? You're going to back off? Yeah, okay. You promise? Go. Go help your friend. Don't follow me. This is Durant. I want some backup at the hospital, and do not let Lucky Spencer and his new partner know about this. Sam, don't. Don't fight. Sam, don't fight him. Good advice. Don't. This is Digitalis. 
An overdose will stop your heart just like it did Jason's low those many years ago. That's right, that's right. Jason was hopelessly damaged because of AJ, and he was racked with guilt. No, he begged me to put his brother out of his misery. And he paid me a great deal of money to do so. Unfortunately, Jason was revived thanks to Alan Quartermain. You know, to some people, you're a medical miracle. To me, you're a mistake. Why'd you kill AJ? Oh, come on, you must have figured that out by now. He wanted me to help him with an insanity plea. And then he threatened to reveal that I tried to kill you after the accident. So you killed Rachel, too? Yes. Yes, I did. She saw me coming out of AJ's room the night he died. <sighs> and then Michael's remembering things. And, you know, I had to make some hard choices. Yeah, you let Michael think he did it. That's right.